Well, praise the Lord, dear friends. Thomas Manton IV here, God's prophet to the nations and your success strategist. I want to give you some success keys on a topic that the Lord spoke to me late last night, which is just astounding. And it's really heavy. I, don't, I have never done it before, a message like this, but it's time for it. Uh, the Lord said to me clearly that there are a lot of people uh, walking around in adult bodies with unresolved issues in their soul, in their emotions, in their subconscious, deep in their psyche, that even affect their, their heart and their life. And they don't know what this thing is swirling around them. I taught a message uh, some time back, which is becoming a book, and uh, also that series will be available again in re-release on video and audio um, called Get Off the Merry-Go-Round. And what the Lord said to me was, there are people that are spinning. So that was kind of an introductory to this. You know, that was powerful in itself. But uh, it, it was one stage. Now, this is a, another, lev another level of uh, breaking people forth into deliverance. So I definitely want to put this in the deliverance series, um, the deliverance modality of, of a message, and <laughs> it's, it's just off the chain. So uh, get ready, my friend. The Lord is, uh, is compassionate to his own children. He's also the giver of knowledge and revelation and understanding. He's the one in 1 Corinthians 2.16 who gives us the mind of Christ. Raro tracks. Beep, beep. He's uh, the one who gives us insight to things. And I'm going to cover some... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cover some things here that are really going to show you something deep about your own life now some are better off in these things than others but there are some people that are all wrapped up as I was saying they're spinning around in things and they're not um, getting forward far enough in their life there's issues going on with them and they can't seem to break them and they don't really know what it is so they just exist the best way they can you know the the, the, the human life is an amazing thing about the realm of survival and how people can survive uh, and just survive instead of thrive uh, in, in a lot of ways and just kind of carry on like that's normal. Well, dysfunction in families is not normal. Things that wounded you in your life, that's not normal. It's evil. Things that cause you to be stuck in your life are not normal, they're evil. They're from the devil and they're from, you know, mixed up people. So I'm I am gonna I am gonna prophetically break this garbage off of you today in Jesus' name. And that's the purpose of this. I have a lot of other things going on. I'm on my my way, way to the for an appointment and to the gym and then there's another meeting in progress that's already beginning and I'm just I have so much going on. I have so many ways that I can go. But the first thing is seek to Seek first the kingdom and his righteousness and all these other things will be added to you. So this is the first thing I'm doing uh, en route to a series of, of, of events that I'm involved in. I'm doing this first. I'm not waiting till later and thinking, well, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm so busy. The Lord spoke to me so clearly. It was about 2 o'clock in the morning. I was just, wow. I began to dictate some notes to myself, which I'm not even looking at about this just to remind myself, and the, the, sure enough, the Lord reminded me anyway to, to get into this. So things that happened to you along the way that people have done to you, the ways that you've been stuck, those are not normal. Those are not things that are supposed to be. Those are not things that are supposed to uh, be happening. You're supposed to be thriving in the realm of multimillionaire status, success in your enterprise, success in your business, success in your ministry, success in your corporations, success in your family, success in your life, happiness to travel the world, money to travel the world, 
health and wealth and healing and all that, but if you didn't come from that mold of things already, then you have to get made into it somehow. And I'm coming in here like a mentor and a friend and a prophet to begin to release a pastor maybe, but to release you into the next phase. And I've seen prophetically that there are some things that people have on them and in them that need to be broken. Okay, a, a, a man that has produced in the billions of dollars of uh, in business uh, enterprises and deals. And even as a, as a teacher to many people and a, and a corporate... Uh, a corporate man, but a, a trainer, a, a guy that helps people. He said he said something powerful, and this is a this is a known fact. But I'm glad he brought it up because I happened to be listening to him, and I thought, hey, this is interesting. He said a per, a child's self esteem is made by the time they're eight years old. If you're in a bad, a funny environment, uh, something's going to affect you when you're little. Okay, now let's say you grow up, and now you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, even maybe. Some people are like, you know, in that uh, uh, adult life and they still have these, you know, problems going on. So it doesn't really matter your age. It matters how you're going to get free and what you're going to do from today. The only thing you really need to always know every second of every hour of every day, every second of every minute of every hour of every day of every week of every month of every year is to know what to do next. You need to know what to do next. You need to know what is the, the will of God, the purpose of God, the plan of action that God has for you. And you need to be moving in that. Now there are things trying to hinder you, okay? Things that came from your upbringing, things that came from things that happened in your life, things that came from uh, warfares, betrayals, setbacks, attacks, thefts, losses, betrayals, denials. All of these things. And um, maybe something wasn't strong enough in you that made you more vulnerable. Let's deal with that for a second. Maybe something in you made you too soft and too unguarded in your life. The Bible says, guard your heart for out of it flow the issues of life. Guard your heart, guard your life, guard everything. Because out of it flow the issues of life. You need to understand that God has given you that commission to guard your life. He gave Adam the commission to guard the garden. Guard the garden. Spelled differently. Guard meaning to protect the garden. Keep the garden. Protect it. Adam dropped the hedge. He dropped the ball. He dropped the sword uh, because the devil came in and started enticing the wife and then the wife enticed him and he was like, oh, oh, and he had that moment of weakness and lost everything. Imagine. So we need to be very careful, but we need to become fortified now. Let's say you had a problem and a setback. You can't replay it in your mind. It'll make you crazy. I know when things replay in your head, it's like the devil has an assignment against you to come to replay all this junk in your head. Are you listening to me? Listen to me. All this junk in your head going on. Replaying, 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 replaying. And you got to say, stop, enough. I cannot fix that. I cannot turn the clock back. I can't go back and kill anyone because that, I can't do that anyway. I can't go back and redo it and undo it. It happened. So what are you going to do? You're going to lose your sanity over something that happened? No, you have to. you have to rise up and take your place for the next day so we need deliverance from all that number one I want to speak deliverance against any setbacks you've had well let me make that number two number one is all the way back to your upbringing from the beginning in sequence okay from your young age whatever happened to you was not your fault whatever the enemy did whatever dysfunction was in your household I feel there's such an anointing here you were not responsible for that. It happened to you. Now, God sees you as his child. He has you in his hand. Okay? And he wants to raise you up and take you to higher places and, and, than where you've been. Even right now, even in a short time. 
let's say in this very month, the next month, and the month after that. So that's in the next many, several weeks. The Lord wants to take you high, 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 high. Up, 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 up and out, up and out, up and out, up into the thing and the destiny that he's planned for you. Not to leave you stuck anymore in something that was uh, a setback. Very important. Deliverance. So let's say you grew up in a dysfunctional home. A lot of people do. Someone says dysfunction is normal in America or, or in a lot of places, you know. And the Lord is just, uh, he's understanding of that, you know. Again, that was evil. That was not your fault. It was maybe some, something meant to be your undoing. But God said, whatever they were doing, I'm doing more. Remember Jesus said, uh, be of good cheer for I've overcome the world. Be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. You don't have to be conquered. You need to rise up and become the conqueror. And when the power of God comes upon you and, and it begins to like uh, 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 hit you in this way and open your eyes and open your understanding and give you uh, the clarity that you were victimized by things and you need to get free from them now and whatever happened before is not going to be your downfall and undoing it's going to be your strengthener to build you up because now you've learned a lot I have this saying you know when if you're 50 years old wouldn't you want to be 30 years old again knowing what you know when you're 50 oh yeah wouldn't it be great if we could turn back the clock tick 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 oh that's in the movies but it doesn't happen in real life you can't turn it back and go back before certain things and change certain things because hindsight is always 2020. Foresight is as strong as you make your life to see ahead or to act well ahead of things to make the right decisions. That's powerful. Hindsight, you look back, you know everything. You don't learn it. I mean, you 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 regret or you or you rejoice in the right decision you made or you lament and regret over the wrong decision you made or the wrong person you trusted or, or the way you did things didn't work out right and you, you see it all but the key now is to have foresight insight and foresight there's insight there's eyesight there's hindsight and there's insight seeing in so you know when God begins to send a prophet like he sent me to you, and a revelator, someone where he gives revelation to on how to break some things. When this word comes, it comes with deliverance power. Let me tell you something. This is not just in word only. This is in spirit and in word. This is prophetic, and their prophetic fire and glory, and his power and anointing is going to come upon you to deliver you from these afflictions that you've had in your life that kept you from achieving the great thing that he has ordained. <laughs> I feel it. It's so, it's so fierce. It's like fire on me. Father, I release it right now in Jesus' name. All the way back to the beginning. All the way back to the womb. All the way back to the birth and the young life and the infancy and the, the, uh, the babyhood and, the child, and then to the childhood and then to the teenagehood and then to the manhood or, and then the, from the women also, the female, all the way whatever, to the teenage years. And all, whatever happened in those young years that got your mind in a certain way that was not right in any way. I break it right now in Jesus' name. I, call, I send fire from heaven to you in Jesus' name right now. And every bit of that mess is gonna be destroyed and uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus. So be it. Pray with me a minute. Just lift your hands to the Lord wherever you are. Just say, Lord, deliver me from anything that affected my life adversely. In Jesus' name. Now, I heard something else. Uh, this man who's become very wealthy, one man that I was uh, uh, connecting with, he, he said, 
he said he saw his father be a very tough man and he saw people around him do very strong things and he said when I was little I just looked at them and and though I wasn't formed yet because he was still a kid he still did a lot of stupid things you know as a kid you know but he said I just started to do that I started because I was thinking that way look at Tiger Woods Tiger Woods became the the only golf person in the world in the golf game in the golf world that's earned, earned over a billion dollars in revenues from like endorsements and uh, what do you call you know uh, marketing and also championships and all that but when he was two years old his father was affirming him taking me out taking him out on the golf course tell him you could be the best and the kid took to it and his father was with him all the way till his father died was with him in every tournament all the time was with him all the time was with him and look what he achieved he had no lack of confidence in that arena because he was there but a lot of people they've had all kinds of dysfunction let's say you had a strong father let's say someone had a strong father but the father was always out working and they were like uh, in the care of their mother and the mother wasn't a strong person well you know you don't know that you would take on uh, some characteristics of the mother uh, and <laughs> and the father you know you'd be like too afraid to think that you could rise up to go out to his world because that's where he conquered and he didn't bring you there he didn't have any you know uh, thought that you could do what he was doing you know so you were just like existing and, and getting, you know, getting on to with whatever you were doing, but it wasn't much. It wasn't like what he was doing. And it could work vice versa. I'm strong father, strong mother, weak mother, strong father, whatever. And you were just there, but you weren't in the picture. You know, the worst thing to do is to be overlooked and rejected or how could I say uh, not being functional and ingrained in a situation where you're valued and needed there it affects your psyche it damages your soul oh yes it does it it uh, it causes you to just get get lost in a situation of of, of existing but you're not really achieving or thriving or moving on to anything great. So the Lord is, uh, is dealing with this right now. Now, I've seen a lot of people, a lot of men, you know, they walk around and you think they're in an adult body, but they really have the, the mind of a boy. They haven't really developed into strong manhood and and I want to say this this works in communities you know yeah, you see certain communities like they have this like loserhood mentality they're mad at the world and they blame racism for everything and they think that somebody else is their problem no they everybody is their own problem because everybody's free in the world to do what they want to do so I thought instead of looking like a like a slob walking around and being mad at everybody and thinking, you know, you're all messed up. Why don't you get a nice set of clothes on and dress like you're like you're the king of the world and walk through anywhere. I don't care if you're in a shopping center or where you are, just walk around. Now this is weird to this this would be weird. People would look at you like who is this guy? And then but imagine if a lot of people begin to do that and say, I am, I am, I am, because the nature of God is in me. So it doesn't matter what happened. It doesn't matter what happened in my upbringing. It doesn't matter what skin color I was born in. It doesn't matter what ethnicity I am. It doesn't matter what economic status I was born into. That doesn't matter. What matters is that I am a global citizen in the 21st century and I, I am the king of the situation and I'm on top. Can you begin to say that? Wow, this is a beautiful place I'm in. I'm passing right here. Oh, I'm gonna come here again. I can't turn this thing off but uh, to show you, but I'll do it another time. It's so beautiful. Oh, Lord. So, the, you know, what if everybody started to do that? 
You got to tune out the world. And even people from your own community will start to mock and go, uh, you know, look at this guy. Who does he think he is and all that? And they'd say all kinds of things, you know. But I want to tell you where there's a will, there's a way. Possible for you to overcome. Not just possible, it's probable. And it's definitely going to happen if you rise to the occasion. So I wanted to crack this walnut open here and get into the inner workings of things in your mind, in your psyche. You have, I just want to tell you this, in an, in an admonition and like as an affirmation, as a consolation, as a prophetic word, you have the power to overcome everything. You have the power to overcome absolutely everything. God has given you the power to get wealth. God has given you power to take care of your health. God has given you power to take care of everything in your life. You have the power to do that, my friend. Wow, this place is beautiful. Oh, my. You have the power to do that. You have the power to be where you want to be, be what you want to be, do what you want to do, become what you want to become, have what you want to have. Yes, you do. And that is the word of the Lord. Father, I declare deliverance. And then any place you find yourself stuck in right now, that you just don't know how to get out of the situation, you need to pray hard, fast hard. I'm going into a, a, an all-night prayer in a few moments and uh, in a while. And I'm going to join them in the course of it and be praying till the morning. So I'm going to be praying for you. So you can give me some prayer requests. I don't mind you doing that. You can write them on the screen here right now. Just put in the comments. You can private inbox me if it's something more detailed and sensitive. Only I will read that in my inbox, private inbox. And I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. And I'm praying for everybody, anywhere that can hear this message. Anyway, by replay or sharing. Do share this. Because pe pe because people need deliverance deep down in their life, in everything that works in their life. And I am going to be praying for you that God Almighty will raise you and make you the head and not the tail. He'll make you as a man the king you're, you're to be. He'll make you as a woman the queen you are to be. In, in manifested reality, not just in this theory of, well, I can say it because the Bible says so. No, I mean in reality. I mean, whatever you need to make it work. That money flows in your life. Success flows in your life. Everything detailed from A to Z that you need to happen for you will happen. And sometimes, you know, there's this thing about attraction and about what's in you attracts what's outside of you. You're, you move toward your most dominant thought, but what you're thinking about and desiring also will move toward you because... You're powerfully attracting it one way or the other. So what's the inner dialogue that's going on inside of you? Is it positive? Does it bring success? Does it bring people? Do you feel enough confidence and self-esteem to love people and let them love you and all and connect and have success and, and be confident? Confidence is a major agent in all of this. You get it from God, but you get it when you're delivered and you know who you are. And you know your place and your space and your grace and your race, the race that you're to run, the assignment that God's given you, the, the, uh, the mission he's given you to achieve and accomplish. <laughs> I am extremely thrilled that God would bring this message through me. Wow, look at this beautiful trees. Oh my God. I'm coming here again and just stop and take pictures and show them to you. All right. I love you. I'm praying for you. I'm heading into a meeting. Now, listen. I'm going to be praying that God gets deep down into the depths of your soul and your life and uproots whatever it was that afflicted and damaged you. Whatever it was that caused you to suffer. Whatever it was that caused things to not break loose off of you, that God is going to come all through you from the top of your head to the bottoms of your feet in your body, soul, and spirit. 
and take you into that next wave of glory that he has for you to be successful in Jesus' name. Thank you for being my partner. So into this anointing for deliverance. And I'm going to be praying as I see your name. Now listen, folks, thomasmanton.com, there's a donation button. You can click that there. In Kenya, you can send me an M-Pesa on 0792-320-780. The other uh, information will be on the screen here, the Cash App, the PayPal, and all that. But you, two ways you could do it easiest is by card on thomasmanton.com. All right? And, or by M-Pesa in Kenya on 0792. All of my friends in Kenya, I love you. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you to get delivered from all these things and you be raised up to be a giant in your land, in your society, and have a great life in Jesus' name. As my partner, there's an anointing that flows from the head. It comes, it comes. So 0792 and the website thomasmanton.com very easy to do. Do that now. Sow your best seed. And um, again, if you're in the U.S. and Canada, I can mail this to you. A book, my book I wrote called The Benefits of Excellence and a DVD I did on the power to create wealth together for a gift of $25 or more. Uh, and whatever seed you're sowing above that, I will send it to you if you give me as you give me your address. I will do that. Please, whenever you're writing me, put your email address and your telephone number so we can talk. If I have a word for you, we can also communicate that way. God bless you. I love you. I'll see you on the next broadcast. Deliverance from everything that's afflicted you. It is coming upon you, that fire from heaven. In Jesus' name. I am Thomas Manton IV, and I'll talk to you right here on the next broadcast. Love you. I'm praying for you. Waiting to hear from you, and I'll continue to pray. I'm going to be praying all night, so get your prayer requests in right now in the comments, and you can also private inbox me here uh, and write me that way. Now, WhatsApp also works on that number, on the, the Kenyan number, plus 254-792-320-780 is also WhatsApp and M-Pesa only, all right? For, it's for WhatsApp and for M-Pesa. You can use that, and I will be able to communicate with you. The Lord bless you. I love you. Victory is yours, my friend. In Jesus' name.